Hi guys, welcome to the 24th episode of Professional Weapons in Advanced Warfare. This time we're taking a look at the two, or not two, four S12 variants. Now the last episode I know I said that uh, it's kind of weird how RW1, which is episode 23, is uh, the same episode as my RW1 Rail Driver Elite Weapon Series. That's not actually true. The 23rd episode was the AK-12 RIP and the 22nd was the RW1 rail driver, so my mistake there, but not, not that much big of a deal. But anyways, I did want to also go uh, to say that if you look at my M1 Irons video, you'll see that, that uh, on the showdown, I did ac accidentally have lightweight on it, and you may or may not notice that you're moving slower with the showdown, but overall, it's not really a big deal. Anyways, let's get into the S12 variants, which the Marksman variant is the Edge right which is looking like the quiet time professional variant and the other professional variants being the Gal Gallant, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, Gallant or Gallant, I really don't know, and the um, Vengeance, yes, the Vengeance. So here we go with the variants today, starting with the Adroit. Um, it's a good variant, but it is fair. It does have its lack of down. It does have its downsides. First downside is being about the damage, and does this doesn't decrease the damage. It decreases the overall damage numbers, but it like doesn't decrease like the the damage, like actual damage numbers, if you know what I mean. Like the the overall damage numbers go down, but like the pellet numbers don't go down. So um, I'm gonna pull them up here, and so yeah. So he, here we go, this is how many pellets the normal S12 has, just like all shotguns except for the blunderbuss, they'll have 8 pellets. And you'll see this, that this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And this damage altogether, uh, the damage per pellet is 20, 15, 6. And the, uh, the, the, the and in total that's uh, 160, 120, and then 48. So only at long ranges you won't get one shot kills, but it's fully automatic, so it doesn't matter. Now he, the the Adroit unfortunately has minus one damage, which means that you will only have seven pellets per shot, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that damage is uh, um, 140, 105, and then 42. So the damage overall is lower because of the missing pellet, but it's not the hugest deal. There is the Tiger Blood, which also is supposed to have a damage decrease, but it's a deceptive variant considering it all, ha it, all eight pellets stay in that shot. So all that, that will really mean to you is a harder wall penetration for the um, uh, Tiger Blood variant. So the Tiger Blood variant is kind of a deceptive variant in that matter. But what's good about this variant? First of all, you got plus one fire rate. This, the normal S12 will, will fire at 600 RPM. This is 600 RPM, and this is, and the Adroit will fire faster at 666 RPM with the plus one fire rate. And just to do them both at the same time, that way it's not the same. And you'll see that I had to reload my S12 there at the top easier, and uh, it does have uh, one it. Before I talk about the good thing of the handling increase, I do have to say that the mobility has changed on the Edroid. It's actually moved down from 100% movement speed down to 98%, unfortunately. So this is the normal movement speed. And this is the Edroid's movement speed. I don't, yeah, you, mo you notice that you're moving slower. I don't really consider this to be a big deal because 98 is still one of the top tier movement speeds in the game. You might be moving a little bit slower, like 98 versus 100 if you have like a relay, relay race. Of course, the 100 is going to win, but I don't really think that you'll notice this. And I don't really think that this is the hugest of deals. And with this mobility decrease, it's kind of funny that this uh, variant does have a handling increase, which is basically a sprint out time reduction from 150 milliseconds down to 135 milliseconds. This is 150 millisecond uh, sprint out time. And this is the 135 milliseconds. Hold on. Wait, okay. So you don't didn't notice much of a difference. How about when I aim down sights? And now for this one. And that's the adroit for you guys all around. So uh, next variant we're looking at here is the G Gallant variant. 
Alright, both of us died, so that's good. Now the now the gallant, uh, first uh, first thing that you need to know about the gallant. Now I don't have scavenger on any of these classes, just so you guys will be able to see. Do not have scavenger. So naturally, when you spawn with the S12 without scavenger, you you have eight rounds in the magazine and then 24 in reserve, uh, which is 30 mag 30 bullets in total and. Um, I want to say four magazines in total. 32, I meant. Yeah, four magazines in total. Whereas with the Adroit, you actually get... Or gall Gallant. We're on the Gallant now. You actually get two... Plus two magazines. So you get plus 16 extra bullets in the reserve in total. So you go from having 24 bullets in reserve to... Um, oh, uh, 40 in reserve. And... Uh, and overall, this may seem like a useless variant because all you'll see on this little stat chart itself is downsize, which is a minus two in handling, which we're going to discuss now. And so this is the normal sprint out time for the for this shotgun. And this is the, here's the sprint out time for the um, Gallant. And you actually do notice the change. You actually will you notice that your sprint out time is uh, longer from 150 milliseconds to 180 milliseconds. So you have a 30 millisecond increase. You might not notice it, but it is a big, but it is a big deal on, sh on a shotgun because uh, you can't you can't sprint and uh, shoot real fast uh, like as they're like up close to you. So that's not a good thing. So you trade your reserve ammo for a little bit of handling. I, you, you know, you can, I can totally deal with that. And overall, even though this variant looks kind of bad, it's actually one of the more useful variants because the reserve ammo is kind of what uh, is kind of an issue on the S12s. That when you give it two extra magazines in total, which is plus two reserve ammo, it actually becomes quite useful in that regard. So. The next variant we are gonna going to look at is the Vengeance, and the Vengeance is a kind of a good variant, too. And no matter my rating on these, uh, both of these variants are very good, and I would not scrap any of these because like all all these are excellent variants. So next one, the Vengeance. The first thing you need to know about the uh, uh, the Vengeance is that it has a pl uh, it has a built-in foregrip attachment, so that that's going to mean for you is a 20% less recoil. And I'm just going to compare the recoil now, just because it does have a built-in foregrip, and it's kind of hard to do, but uh, um, I'll do it over here. Why not? So this is the normal S12's recoil pattern. So you'll see that's how much it'll kick up. Now here's the S12 Vengeance recoil pattern. And, and, and you see that it kicks up way... You see it stops at a ceiling way... Uh, it stops at a lower ceiling, which is good because you'll be able to control your recoil because it's like, you know, fully automatic and it's one of like a few shotguns in the game that has proper recoil. The Bulldog, I guess, if you spam it really hard. And the TAC-19, the recoil isn't really applicable. The same works for the Cell 3 Cauterizer and the Blunderbuss, but that. But as you see, the built-in foregrip may not seem very useful. Like normally, I don't run a foregrip on the S12, but the, hey, it is a nice bonus to have an attachment that'll kind of fix fix the problem. But this isn't a high rate of fire variant, so I don't really see how the foregrip is useful. It's more useful on higher rate of fire variants, but the but this variant doesn't really have a rate of fire change, so I don't really get. I don't really see. Um, you do, however, have a 10% tighter hip fire spread on the Vengeance, which is awesome, actually. It's really awesome to have on a shotgun a 10% tighter hip fire spread. Obviously, tightening the hip fire spread by any percent is a good thing. And you have a 10% tighter one for the Vengeance. And I definitely will guarantee that you will notice it right here that the hip fire spread is 10% tighter for the, the Vengeance. And that's a good thing it isn't without downsides though as a 10 percent slower sprint out time all these basically have sprint out time changes so again the normal standard 150 milliseconds 
and here's the standard one uh, uh, 65 milliseconds for the vengeance I kind of actually did notice it there and uh, it can be annoying for those that like uh, variants that you know uh, increase the um, the sprint out times and obviously that's not that doesn't have that so kind of unfortunate not a, not a deal breaker but just keep it in mind now the last variant we are looking at is the quiet time and the quiet times pretty simple variant first thing you need to know about the quiet time is it's a, it does have a built-in suppressor which you cannot detach the suppressor does kind of hurt your range a little bit so that's obviously not a good thing it does kind of hurt your range it doesn't hurt the, like the damage range but what it's going to hurt is is the amount of is the range at which your pellets actually travel and that's obviously a bad thing and I'll, I'll try to show that I'll try to show that off here uh, I don't think that uh, drifter says that the the uh, suppressor doesn't actually decrease hurt the range on the um, quiet time uh, it, and all it really does is keep you off the radar but let's test it here we go so I'm gonna stand back as far as possible with this shotgun and I'd say that right about over here is good range for the shotgun pellets to hit you'll see that uh, boom a pellet hit if I go to the same range with the uh, quiet time you'll see that the the pellets won't uh, the pellets probably will not hit boom I didn't see any pellets hit so that there that there's proof right there now now into the actual stats of the weapon it does have a rate of fire increase from uh, 600 rpm to 666 again here's the standard 600 and here's the 666 and you definitely notice it right off the bat and here's both of them at the same time uh, it looked like at the same time but it's because both of them shoot really fast but overall you'll notice that the uh, quiet time is shooting faster it's the same sh speed as the adroit and again does have a handling decrease uh, uh, from of uh, 15 milliseconds more so the, again the normal s12 uh, sprint out time 150 milliseconds and here's the here's what it is for the quiet time and you'll notice it's a bit slower yeah a bit slower for the quiet time not not a, not the worst thing ever but I'd say that all these are kind of fun variants. I think the Adroit's a pretty fun variant. I think that the Quiet Time is, you know, a pretty fun variant. And uh, the, the Vengeance can be fun if you're using the right hands. And, and again, the Galant, you get a lot of am extra ammo, which is, you know, really fun. And there you have it. Those are all the S12 uh, variants, and for professionals anyway. And the Adroit, as you'll see or no, why am I looking this is a built-in foregrip and uh, this is and right here is a built-in suppressor which basically keeps you off the radar it does hurt your range but it doesn't hurt your damage range which is actually a good thing and uh, advanced rifling you cannot put on the quiet time because it has a built-in suppressor you can't have like suppressors and advanced rifling at the same time which is kind of unfortunate but it's uh whatever overall these are fun variants and the, the ratings were kind of hard but I had, but I had to do w what was right. The the vengeance at number one, because any shotgun with tighter hip fire is always going to be a great variant, and plus that recoil, you know. The adroit at number two, because that's kind of a fun variant, even though you do have a loss in a pellet, it's still a good variant. The uh, I'm trying to think, it's the. <laughs> All right, the quiet time at number three, it does have a suppress. No, 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 gallant, gallant at number three because the reserve ammo is a huge thing on the S12. And quiet time at number four, not that quiet time is a bad variant. Like, all these are good variants. Like I said, it's just that I have to rate them somehow. And the next episode is going to be on the six SAC-3 professional variants. As you heard me, six. That includes the uh, akimbo and the non-akimbo variants, and I have all of them. <laughs> That's going to be a crazy.